Hi, John. How, How was your week? Yeah, it was okay. It's okay. What are you selling again? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Very good. Hi, Juana. How was your week? Quite good. It, remind me what you're selling again? Empanadas. Empanadas. Whose empanadas are they? Mine. I thought they were your mother's recipe. Oh yes, my mother's recipe. Okay. So what we're going to look at this week is I'm going to teach you how to effectively sell. And over the years, I came up with this acronym, which is you can't sell without an ace in the hole. And we're going to go through each of the elements of how to effectively make a sale. And the assignment is, is that you're going to jot down your points of how you're going to make the sale. Yours was well, yours wasn't so good. Uh, you're going to record yourself in about 60 seconds or so. Practice selling all week, and then on Sunday night, you're going to record yourself again doing your sales pitch. And then you're going to upload both videos, and then the next class, we're just going to look at the differences between what you recorded at the beginning of the semester, what you recorded at the end of the semester, and look at how effective your te the technique was. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to model the behavior based on what I did when I was your age and I had my own business. Back then, I didn't have this acronym, but I was, uh, as I started teaching, I started thinking about what I did and didn't do. And this is how, how I came up with um, the tool set that I'm calling You Can't Sell Without Ace in the Hole. And so what I would do is I'd walk into a store, um, and I, I'd first ask, can I speak to the owner or manager? And then I'd talk about the fact that I was selling handmade fair trade jewelry from Mexico, that it was cash and carry, that it, it was sort of limited supply. Um, I would talk about the fact that a different store up in a different community also had the product and that it was selling well. And then I would ask them if they wanted to see it now or later. And so those are kind of the key elements of what you need to do to effectively sell. So when I'm looking at how much time, how much time did that take me? It took, I'm just looking at it right here, so the first one is you need to be concise. Under 60 seconds is all you need to make a sale. The second part is action words. The third one is a narrative. Target. So 30 to 60 seconds is all you need. Action words. Um, I'm going to come back to that. Narrative is a good story. Handmade, fair trade, jewelry from Mexico. You all have a story. It's homemade cupcakes, it's my mother's recipe. All those things are part of this story. What did I say, or what I looked at when I first walked into a store is I made sure I tried to talk to the person that could make the decision. And so I would ask to speak to the owner or manager. That is more important when you're... Uh, selling wholesale, or if you don't know who you're selling to, right? So, Juana, you mostly sold to your friends, right? That's right. And so your target, you've already targeted to other Hispanic people that know your product. Uh, John, do you know what an empanada is? No. No. Um, and so when you're targeting your sale, because you said you did really well, I want you to practice this on non... people that don't know the product, not mm -hmm. Hispanic people. Okay. So you can... You can think about what you would say to someone like John when you're trying to get him to buy the product. Uh, the narrative we know is a good story. It's your mother's recipe, it's homemade, it's whatever. The action words, this is what, how people buy. And what they look for is scarcity, right? So John, when you're looking at yours, did you talk about the fact that there was a scarce supply? No. Because what it is, is you've made one batch of cupcakes. You've made 24 cupcakes, so there's a scarcity. So we want more of what we can have less of. So if there's limited supply, you see this all the time in advertising, right? Limited time offer, 